What was it like growing up with Ringling Brothers? <laughs> Well, when you're growing up, you think your life is normal. So I don't think you realize that when you grow up around the circus, you know, that, that your friends aren't doing that also. I have so many fond memories. I was a clown when I was a child in the circus. But I think now, for me, I'm a mom. I have a two-year-old daughter. That's the best part, coming to the show with her, seeing her reaction, how excited she gets. And I get to create, you know, these incredible experiences for her. This is the first uh, Ringling Brothers show I've actually produced on my own, so it's, um, so it's exciting. My grandfather, Irvin Feld, bought Ringling Brothers um, in 1967, and that was just his passion and his love was of the circus and of the circus people. We have been working on this show for almost two years, and so much work goes into this. And it's just exciting to actually see it come to life. When you're working on something and you see the plans, you think you know it's gonna work, but you're not quite sure until you really get it in front of an audience. My grandfather would be proud of the the sustainability of Ringling Brothers. You know, that was so important to him and he put his whole life into evolving Ringling Brothers and making it, you know, the modern day entertainment. And I think he would be so proud of the fact that we're continuing to do that and that it's still, you know, such a treasured American icon.